Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I'm gonna go through my wrench decision at the moment um, in my minimalist overlanding tool kit. Now there's an old adage, you know, that if you can't fix it with a hammer, then it must be an electrical problem. So maybe technically this is my entire tool kit, is these two items, but in reality, we know there's more to it than that. It just seems like that's always the case. So today I'm gonna to deal with wrenches. And I've watched, um, you know, a lot of videos on different overlanding tool kits. I've read uh, plenty of blog posts and I've noticed a few trends. One is there's a reluctance to leave anything out. So if there's a set, like this is a, a set of snap-on wrenches, no skips from eight millimeter to 22. Um, do I want that? No, um, and I'll go over why. Another thing I've noticed is people tend to evolve their uh, overlanding tool kits over time, but they only evolve them in one direction. They tend to add to them, they don't subtract from them. And if they don't subtract, they just get bigger and bigger. And I look at some of these and they're the size of coolers. And I'm thinking almost everything in there is not going to be used. And in fact, there's plenty of stuff in there that can't be used because it doesn't fit anything, um, but it stays. Um, another thing is uh, the redundancy. You know, they might have a, a, say, I'm struggling with right now with my own redundancy. 10 millimeter wrenches are really handy and I've got a bunch of different kinds. What do I take? Well, uh, what am I gonna need? That's, I really have to focus back on it because I do not want any random tools. I, I've got no mementos, no keepsakes, um, nothing that might come in handy at some point in the future or even worse for somebody else that I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is go through and absolutely strip it down to the very basics. And then if I need or really am worried about something, I can add to it but I have to get down to that fundamental level. So here's my wrench set as it sits right now. So let's start on this end. Uh, dump them all in the middle here. So these are the keepers over here. These are the get rid ofs. Um, what do I have here? I've got an eight. I'm gonna, gonna get rid of it. Yes, there are a couple of things that take eights, but I have a substitute for that that's better than carrying a whole wrench. Uh, what do I have here? I've got an 11. I don't need an 11. 19, absolutely do need that. 20, don't need that. 10, need that. Here's a nine, don't need that. 17, absolutely need that. 18, nope. 22, nope. 15, nope. 12, yes. 13, no. 14, yes. 16, no. 21, no. In fact, the only 21 on the, the vehicle I'll be using, which is a Gen 2 Tacoma, is a lug nut. So out of all these wrenches, this is all I'm going to bring with me right here of this set. So I can get rid of these. Oh, boy, that's a lot of weight. Too. It's also the big ones. Now let's move on to the next thing. So here's my my initial set of wrenches. And what I've got are some other kinds of wrenches, like you know, is it is it wise to bring a flare nut wrench? I think, yes, there's a good chance I'll never need it, but what are my options? In this case, here it is. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter, um, three eighths drive flare nut. This actually fits just fine. I can work with it just fine. In fact, sometimes it's easier than using the, the wrenches just because of the limited space. So there it is, saved weight, saved size, that's in. What about this? This is one of my favorite wrenches. It's a ratcheting snap-on 10 millimeter. Um, it turns out this one is very handy and there are times when you do want two tens. Uh, so I don't see that as a total redundancy, but you know, what if I brought these instead? Would this count as the other 10? The answer is yes. However, I'm also building a small tool kit that goes with me right up within reach of the driver in the cab. And that's gonna have a handful of small items um, right there. I haven't decided, I think I might go with a Vamplier, uh, maybe the next one down. And that might be my entire tool kit within reach. Um, so I probably will take this, but it'll be somewhere else. Now, what about all these other wonderful 10 millimeter wrenches that I've got? All kinds of unique sizes, shapes, etc. Are these going? No. 
They, I wish they could, but see, that's the danger. That's where that extra weight, which is the enemy of overlanding, comes in. It's just so easy to just bring something just in case. And I've got a lot of cool wrenches that I would love to, to bring along with me. But first of all, there's a very good chance I won't need any of them, hopefully. You know, if I maintain my vehicle, I also study what the most likely scenarios are for things to fail. You know, because I've got to have spare parts. I've got to have a recovery kit. Besides my... I mean, this is just the wrenches. I still have my screwdrivers to figure out, my pliers to figure out, my general hand tools to figure out. I've got to get um, all the spare parts, the fluids, the camping gear, the water gear or water sport gear, uh, extra fuel, extra water. Um, I've got to have, you know, the tire fixing, compressor. I mean, it just starts adding up. So cutting out a little bit here actually does go a long ways. So dealing with wrenches. What I've decided, uh, you know, I thought, well, this would handle, say, that 8 millimeter I left out. But this might have a little bit more utility if I went with something larger. But this is kind of heavy. So what about this guy? I think I'm going to go with this one. And that kind of covers the small end, although if I open that up, you know, it does, it does actually exceed my 19 millimeter. So I think this goes to 21. So, you know, I could be doing some serious suspension work with that, I bet. It's a joke. Um, what else? Well, I am going to have an adjustable wrench up front. I haven't decided for sure which one. I'm leaning towards this small one. Uh, because I'm not going to need as much jaw opening. They are very similar in size, so I'm assuming strength. If I put a cheater bar on this, I could, you know, really do some damage probably. But it also most likely will be maybe a confined space issue. I've got to think about that. Um, and fitting anything. I do have some plumbing that is, is SAE, but I doubt I'm going to need a wrench for that. Or if I do, um, I might handle it another way. For bigger stuff, well, I'm debating between these two. Um, I used to carry a big Baco. Um, it was a kind of like a Knipex thing, um, but uh, it was fairly large, not the most useful, but um, it worked. I'm going to switch to a pipe wrench, and I'm leaning towards this one. Um, this is the 14-inch aluminum, rigid. The difference in weight between these two is probably the same as this plus my entire wrench set, just right there. Now, it would be nice to have a big one. You know, it's a lot easier to, to uh, um, you know, pry on it. But in a lot of cases, I may be able to hook up a jack to apply pressure on the wrench. So... Um, if I needed to move something, could I wedge a jack in the way between something and actually then apply that force? Now, by going down to this size, I have opened up the option for this bag, this little Milwaukee, which I just love these things. So that fits in there. All my wrenches fit in there. And there it is. You know, that might be my entire wrench set versus one of these giant tool rolls or worse, some giant blow molded case. So out of all the wrenches, you know, that's it. Now I have carried around a pile of other wrenches. In fact, I dug them out just for a, a comparison, you know, as I'm working. I used to carry these old, these craftsmen. They're not the greatest, you know, but I almost never used them. I carried a set all the way down to six, six millimeter. There's a seven, yeah, here it is. Why? Because I was of that mindset to carry the entire set. So I carried um, a big set of wrenches, basically, and I almost never used any of them. And in fact, in the, you know, there's nothing that this fits. So why am I, why am I carrying it? Um, it turns out, you know, that there is a tendency to want to kind of fill out sets. And that's going to be hard with bit sets. It's going to be hard with plier sets. It's going to be really hard with socket sets because I'm going to do the same thing. Now, a lot of people are probably going to think, well, that's a pretty big risk. What if? And it's only a couple of more tools. Um, you know, I, I think of all of the times when I really was in kind of a mess or stuck. And 
it, usually with friends, and about all we had, we might have had a pair of vice grips, um, a rock. I fixed a, um, a starter once with just a rock. Um, you know, you might know about that, just banging on it, trying to figure out where there's a bit of corrosion and you get out of it. Let's see, uh, floor mats for traction pads, um, and then a Leatherman wants to do some electrical work. Um, and I've had some problems with electrical work, you know, out in the middle of nowhere and realize, you know, so I'm going to have a battery jump box as well. You know, all of that stuff adds up. So I'm looking at overlap. I'm looking at interactivity. Um, frankly, I've almost never, ever needed a wrench except to tighten down something like a trailer hitch, um, you know, or maybe some some. Uh, bolt-on accessory I've been using or to fix something else that's outside the vehicle. Nothing that would have stopped me. Um, so uh, there we have it for the wrenches to start. I'm going to make uh, more videos, less philosophy um, to try to cover the other areas. But I do want you to contribute ideas or concerns um, or stories because there's a lot to this and there's no right one way. Otherwise, it'd be very easy. Um, so instead, I'm looking at what the most likely scenarios are. What are the failure points on the Toyota Tacoma? You know, you can look that up as well and then figure out only um, the uh, spanners, the wrenches that I need and none of the filler that, that I almost never have seen used or maybe never used, 16, 18. You know, there are very few things that take those and I'm not going to carry stuff for other people just in case. Um, that's their issue. And, or I'll just get a hammer and pound a socket onto the wrong size bolt and call it good. I mean, there are ways around things. You can ruin tools if it gets you out of the backcountry. Because, uh, you know, snap-on might seem expensive, but you haven't been towed out of, a, out of a canyon 100 miles from a town. Anyway, with that, Doc out.